Hi guys and welcome back to First with Penny. Today I'm going to be talking about the Christmas presents that I got which are beauty related. So I got a few Christmas presents from my family and my partner as well and then I also gifted myself some Christmas gifts which were beauty related. Does that count as Christmas gifts? I think it does. Um, I had a hard year. I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do these. <laughs> so yeah, let's get to it. I'm gonna start with the gifts that I was given and then I'm gonna um, talk a little bit more about some of the products that I bought for myself. So yeah, let's get to it. Um, first of all, um, I'm sure you guys know that I love a good bath and I actually received a lot of bath products, which I'm very, very thankful for. So first and foremost, you can actually see that I've been using this so much, but this is the Merry and Bright Winter Spiced Apple uh, Bath Foam. And this is from m and uh, in the UK. And it's like an apple-y scent. It's glittery. Oh, it's such a lovely scent. Um, so I've just been using this in my bath as like a like, nice little um, thing that makes foams. Really, really, very nice. And then the other one, the other thing I got was um, little bath bombs. This one is like a little mermaid tail, if you can see it. Um, I didn't manage to save all the other ones. I'm gonna admit that I have used all of them. <laughs> this is the only one that I have left. Um, but they, the other one was like a, a dragon egg and there was also like a, Oh, what was it? It was like a little, um, like a little trident. Um, I think they just went with like a mermaid sort of theme. Um, so yeah, this is a little bath bomb. And then last thing for the bath is this Calm and Reflective Muscle Soak Bath Salts. So, and this is from Paxson and Pepper. So as you know, I've actually also started um, sort of running, especially outside. Um, yeah, so definitely a nice bath afterwards to relax your muscles is so, so nice. And then other stuff that I got was more sort of related to skincare um, from my lovely brother. And oh my God, <laughs> I've been hinting at this for so, so long. And so he got me the Nip and Fab Vitamin C Cleanser. And holy hell, does it smell absolutely divinely amazing. Um, I haven't ever actually tried this yet, but I'm very, very excited. It has a really nice consistency. It's kind of like a gel cleanse that I'm going to go with. Um, so it's like a, yeah, it's like a very gel-like um, sort of consistency, but it smells heavenly. And I really cannot wait to try this one out. And then the other hint that my lovely brother got, thank God, was um, my eyebrow powder that I think I talked about in my last video on my um, favorites of 2020. So this one, the foolproof brow brow powder from Benefit Cosmetics, um, in color, I think it's just one, um, yeah, it's just color one. I'm like the lightest, um, eyebrow person ever. But yeah, so I got this one, which is very exciting. Very very happy about this. And then, um, do you know what? I'm not sure if I should take this well or not. But I got these like mini sort of products from my mum, uh, from Lancome, um, Gentrifique. Um, we're gonna say this. Don't know French. Sorry, people. Um, so this is the Youth Activating Concentrate. So these are all minis, um, because you know I'm only 22 years old. So she was like, you know, you don't need to start doing this yet. Maybe just add it a little bit into your skincare routine. Um, so she gave me the minis. So this is the Youth Activating Concentrate, the little one. Um, and it comes in like a little pipette, and that, that always makes me feel really, really fancy. So it just comes like this um so that's that one and then the youth activating day cream um she used up the the night cream so couldn't couldn't get that one but hey ho um and then there was also a few other um lancome bits so this one is the bifacial um non-oily instant cleanser and this is also good for sensitive eyes but you can see i have used this one before because i did get this from my mum before um, but it's just really, really nice. So it actually um, removes makeup as well. So even if it's waterproof, which is very really nice. So you just sort of shake it first and then um, you apply it. So this one I just use as a normal cleanser. It's a really, really nice one, um, but it's not oily, which is nice because sometimes my face gets greasy. So um, I do like this one. The other one, the other thing that I got is the Tonique Comfort, again from Lancome. Um, this is the Rehydrating Comforting Toner with Akaika Honey, 
which is nice. Um, I haven't ever used this one before, but it smells, it does smell really nice um, and very heavenly. I think this is more like a, so like a milky toner. Um, I used it a couple of times. Um, I'm starting not to be the biggest fan of toners, but because this is so nice and hydrating, I think I'm going to keep using this one, but possibly not to repurchase. And then just because my family knows that I like um, Body Shop, I got two um, little sheet masks. So the first one is the Aloe Calming Sheet Mask, um, which I haven't used before because I don't have sensitive skin. But um, it says that after 15 minutes, the skin feels hydrated, settled and soothed. So I'm going to give this a go. And then obviously you guys know that I love anything vitamin C from the Body Shop. So I used this one before, the Glow Sheet Mask. And again, after 15 minutes, grumpy skin feels hydrated, awakened and healthier. And that's what you want. So those are the Body Shop products. And then last but not least, I got the L'Oreal Paris um, Pure Clay Detox Mask um, purely because I ran out of mine. So this is always really nice. And then the three things that I've got for myself, especially because I've been sort of um, trying to educate myself a lot more about like um, proper skincare routines and how that should go and I found Caroline Hirons and she is like seriously the queen of skincare and she's been um, I've been reading her blogs and also her there's like little cheat sheets um, on her blog which is really really nice and I just think that I th think that I understand skincare a lot better now so some things that i have added on to my skincare routine even though i have had these in my routine it just wasn't the right ingredients so and these are all from superdrug because the uk is in lockdown again <laughs> yay so i literally could not go to any other shop but um so far they've, they've been working out for me really well so you know um, so from Superdrug, we have the naturally radiant um, glycolic tonic, which is 5% glycolic acid. So this is this one. I'm hoping you guys can see it. Um, so this is the 300 ml one. I think it was $8.99, $9.99. Um, and basically glycolic tonic, um, glycolic acid, sorry, is like an exfoliant, like a chemical, um, like an exfoliating acid. Um, you can use this every single day, which I do. Um, so using it day and night, um, I actually completely rewamped my skincare routine. I'm going to make a video about this next week, but, um, yeah, so this one is basically the, the reason for you to use this is because it sort of smooths out the tones in your skin, just gives you like an even nice, um, complexion and, um, yeah, just a really, really nice product I've thought Let's add it and see if it's working. I've only been using it for five, seven days. So it's not, um, it obviously takes a, a bit longer for some products to um, have an effect on your skin. So it hasn't yet, I don't think, but I'm going to keep using it and then see how it goes. Um, the other thing that I've been um, using is this um, hyaluronic, um, hy hyaluronic, booster and again this is from um super drug but this is a two percent hyaluronic um solution and basically this just hydrates and plumps your skin so again um this is just for moisture like added moisture uh but this has really really been helping like again I've, I've bought these at the same time but i can feel this working already like it's just like a really nice glow that it gives my skin and i can totally feel it like working as soon as i put it on so yeah, this is again hyaluronic acid. And then the last thing that I bought for myself was this vitamin C detox um, invigorating skin booster. So that's this one. Um, again, from Superdrug, um, but this one is just, um, yeah, it's lovely. But I just, I'm, I'm just using this because I like vitamin C in my skincare routine. And also I have some sort of red patches um, which this should help um, sort of clean up and help um, give myself like a nice boost, like a nice glow. So that's that one. And actually, that's everything for this video. So 
I've been using these and yeah, it was a really, really good Christmas. It was a very good haul and, but I am aware that a lot of people's Christmases have been different. So I'm very, very aware of how very fortunate I am to have been able to spend it with my family. So I do hope that you guys have also had a lovely um, holiday season, but um, yeah, this is, yeah, it's just very hard, um, especially now that England is in lockdown again, but we're going to get through it. It's all good, I hope. And yeah, but anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now. I hope that you guys have really enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel. And if you are new on here, please have a look at all of my other videos. Um, I've been making them since last June. So very, very exciting. And yeah, so this is everything for today. I hope that you guys have a lovely day and I will see you guys later. Bye.